hopelessly blurred and nowhere as vividly as in Night Springs. The man before you is a champion of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. Maybe, but what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. The man has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Like that again, huh? In another life, the man was a writer. He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Somewhere within the earth, space itself has been pierced and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. I can't stay here now. You right, Emma? Emma Sloan? 
I think you might have something that belongs to May. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. The Champion of Light recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design, custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Oh hell, this isn't gonna be good. Is this on? Wait, wait, whoa! That's one thing down. tears itself in two to avoid the hated light. It becomes weaker, more numerous. Such a of horror. That was just messed up. Something tells me I'm really gonna need the extra firepower. That's two. Just one more to go. That's everything. The man has found the battery, but it is empty. It will need to be recharged. I need this battery charged. No problem. Here you go. Thanks.
It's a little sad how many problems you can solve with Buckshot. Time to make some serious changes. Easy. I got him. You're safe. I need you to tell me what you know about him. The guy who looks like me. He... There was a, there was a party in one of the rooms. It, it was pretty wild. I am... Um, I'm not sure which room it was in. You didn't attend. I... No, I wasn't there. But it got way out of hand. 
Anyway, I... I heard that he went to the diner and there was a fight there or something. Maybe you could find out more from there. I, I, I got some keys that you could maybe use. You just happen to have the keys, huh? Fine. I'll take a look. Stay here. Like hell. I'm getting out of here as soon as you leave so I could close up this place and go home. Emma, you really want to stay here in the light. Yeah, thanks for the advice, but I'm not sticking around. Just go already, okay? Poltergeist. Its existence is one of rage and hostility, and its very presence turns ordinary objects into deadly projectiles. Oh, shit! Traces of violence, a callous midnight snack, a room key left carelessly behind. The man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel rooms. Satellite and now this? That place might be involved. Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. Emma Sloan, an innocent victim of his dark half, more collateral damage in the ongoing war, damned by forces beyond control as much as by her own Michael Farabee, dead, tortured, dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. A slim lead, but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. The observatory, hot on the heels of the Herald of Darkness, the Champion of Light forges on to see the stars.
an observatory, a place for a man to witness the magnificence of the universe. But such insights are not what the champion of light is looking for. He has come to find a weapon. Hello? I'm Dr. Rachel Meadows and... Wait a moment, it's you! I can't believe you dare show your face around here again! wasn't me. I just look like him. Are you serious? That's what you're going with? Please! I'm trying to stop him. You saw those shadow things trying to kill me, right? I bet he got along with them just fine. Yes. Yes, he did. All right. Come on in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 